Hey guys, Heather here from Tad Dyed Iguana. So somebody asked us uh, on YouTube to do a video about what kind of cages and tanks we have in stock at the store, uh, what types we carry. Uh, so today's video, we're going to show you what type of tanks and enclosures we all have for you to get for your animal. Uh, one thing to note is that I can't guarantee any of these will be in stock at a certain time because our stock changes so much. I can't guarantee that this is everything because we might be sold out of some stuff, but this is just kind of a general showcase of what we have right now and what we carry. Alright, so first off I'm going to start on this side of our, kind of our main tank display in the front. Uh, first up we have our paludariums, and this one is our starter kit and it kind of shows you what it all comes with. This is the type of tank that you can use to make a land and a water portion. This is our 12 by 12 by 24. And then we've got a bigger one that is 18 by 18 by 36, but it does not uh, come with all that stuff. You have to get it separately. And then we've got, let's see, a natural, we got a Crested Gecko kit, a 12 by 12 by 18. This one comes with a few things too. Um, let's see, these are our fish tanks actually. We got some fish tanks here. We got five gallon. 16, 2.6 over there, and a shrimp kit right there. Then right down here we have a huge tank. We have a 36 by 18 by 36. Uh, that would be good for a huge, uh, big setup, maybe a colony of like crested geckos or something. Something arboreal. Uh, something more arboreal, definitely. Maybe an arboreal snake, like a green tree python or something. It's got that really cool background. And then on the flip side we've got another exoterra tank. We've got a 24 by 18 by 24. Once again this is good for our boreal species. It's got a background as well. And then down here we have some of our, let's see, I think these are our tiki ones. And I think that's our Aztec one there. You can see that one comes with a background. It just fell over for now. But yeah, these are our 18 by 18 by 24s. They got the really cool background and everything, so. And here we have some of our smaller tanks. Uh, people like to use these for like tarantulas and stuff. Uh, we got eight by eight by eights. We got eight by eight by 12s. These are nano tanks. Keep really small ones in there. We got a tiny nano breeze uh, screen tank. And then we've got a little bit bigger one. We got a 12 by 12 by 12. This one would be good for like a little dart frog or something or a tarantula as well. So that's our mini. Now up front here we have our newest tank. We have a bow front terrarium. We got two of these in. It looks like one of them sold. Uh, these are 18 by 21 by 25s and the front of it actually bows outward, so it's kind of cool. It's kind of a unique shape there. That'd be good for an arboreal species. And it does come with that cool background right there. All right, so here are more common ones. We've got our, all our 40 breeder tanks. Yeah, these are 36 by 18 by 16s. These are the ones that we recommend that you use for a bearded dragon. Uh, one full-grown beard dragon would do great in one of these. Uh, we also have our 30 breeders down here. These are our 36 by 18 by 12s. So, yeah, we got some of those there. And then we have our critter cages. It looks like we're a little low on these because we do have these, usually have these in 10 gallon sizes, but this is a 5.5 gallon tank. This is only a 16 by 8 by 10, but for some other animals we usually use the 10 gallons, but we are out of stock at the moment it looks like. So, yep. And then we've got a front opening, 36 by 18 by 18. Uh, you could keep a more terrestrial animal in there, for sure. And then here is Chameleon Cage Alley. This is all of our screen cages. We do not recommend keeping a chameleon in a glass tank at all. Uh, you need a uh, screen tank for them. 
definitely for sure. They can't get enough um, breeze, enough cir air circulation in a glass tank, so you want to stick with the screens. We've got this huge Repti Breeze Extra Large. I'm not even sure the dimensions on this thing. Let's look. Uh, a 24 by 24 by 48. That's what that one is. We got an extra tall one that's actually even bigger than that one. This is a 36 by 18 by 36. Um, actually, it's not as tall as this one, but it's still pretty tall. It's, it's kind of just bigger overall. And then we've got a large one here. We've got, let's see, this one is, this one's 30 by 18 by 30, so it's a little bit shorter. And then we've got 18 by 18 by 36. These are all, these are the Repti Breeze. Uh, they, these ones are Repti Breeze right here. 16 by 16 by 30s and a 16 by 16 by 20. So yeah, we got different sizes, all sorts. We got some of the Repti Breeze line. We've got a Zilla tank, or not tank, a Zilla screen cage. We got a Zoo Med one. Got all sorts. We got an Exoterra one. So, got a wide variety of those for sure. Then for the Repti Breeze cages, those screen cages, we've got the stands for them. And they do have a little shelf too, so that's kind of nice. And then here we have a 20 long Repto Habitat. Dimensions on this are about 30 by See, it sells 12.6 12, 12 by 12.75, so yeah, that's a little bit smaller one. Those are good for like if you have multiple leopard geckos or something. We actually keep our multiple leopard geckos in a 20 long on our store floor. And then here we've got our biggest cages. We've got 75 gallon ones. Those are, let's see, those are 48 by 18 by, let's see, I'm trying to look. Yeah, it's 48 by 18 by about 21. So those are huge. And that is our deluxe one. So this deluxe one actually comes with a locking screen top, bottom drain with barb fitting, strainer and plug, and rear bulkhead with plug and barb fitting. So it's a little bit fancier. And then what makes this, this uh, deluxe Repto Habitat the 75 different from the other one is that you can actually open it from the front. It has a sliding glass door and you can open it up from both sides and you can even take the doors out for cleaning and everything so you can access it from both the top and the front. And then I almost forgot about our creatures line of tanks right here made by Zoomed that come with a few things for your pet tarantula or other arachnid. The little tanks here. So these are our little habitat kits. Little creatures habitat kits. Then for the aquariums we've got, we've got plain old 10 gallons right here. And then right over here we have some more. We have 5 gallon, 10 gallon, and 20 gallon kits. Made by Marina. And then we've got a few tanks over here that are a little bit different and we got the stands for them as well. We got a 16 gallon and a stand. We got a 15 gallon and a stand for that one too and a 26 gallon kit with also we have the stand for it. So that's what we've got as far as tanks right now. Like I said that might not be everything we have uh, usually have. we. Like I said, with like with the t uh, 10 gallon tanks, we are out of stock right now, but we do have those. Usually, we do usually carry those all the time. And yeah, we'll see you guys later, and thanks for watching.